everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel, and welcome to a brand new lock screen tutorial. It's by one of my most favorite lock screen home screen designers, and he's not actually on My Color Screen, but hey, I'm gonna do this video anyway. So, let us begin. Great everyone, so like I said today, I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to set up a fantastic looking Android lock screen. Here it is, let me just unlock my phone. It is titled Combi 5 by the artist Dave Koss, or Dave Koss, and it's featured on DeviantArt, not my color screen, but I thought that you guys still really need to see this lock screen. It's fantastic if you enjoy very minimal setups. As you can see, what sets it apart is this fantastic combi or minibus or VW, however you want to call this fantastic looking vehicle, but it looks really good on this black and white setup. Above that, you've got your time and date widget that includes the day of the week as well as the time in text format and the date beneath that. Moving lower down, you've got this incredible, very minimal slide to unlock button here that you can see works really well, looks really good. And next to that, you've got your very minimal, clean looking a camera icon that of course when tapped will bring up your camera for quick and easy use and then going back obviously when you want to unlock your phone you just swipe and it'll unlock your phone just like that this home screen is also by the author and will explain everything to you including this home screen as well as this lock screen so if you'd like to know how to do all of this then let us begin with today's new video Great, so as always, before you begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. So starting off with the apps, a good old file explorer such as ES File Explorer, just to copy and paste your files into their various locations. Next up will be the Naxos Flat Icon Pack, the one that you saw on the home screen there. You can of course use whatever icons that you want, I really do not mind, but these just look really good on this very setup. Next up will be Widget Locker, and that's the lock screen app that you'll be needing in order to complete this setup, and Zupa Widget Pro. That's the widgets that you saw on the lock screen. And you can of course use any launcher that you'd like to complete this home screen. I'm just using Thema right now, as it works for me and it looks really good. So once you have all these resources down, you wanna open up your file explorer and you wanna look in the link in the description below or there should be a zip file link there that you wanna download either onto your computer, then extract it using various file extraction software, then copy it onto your phone or just copy it directly onto your phone and extract it using say ES File Explorer. It works out really well. But what there is left, it will be a combi folder here it is, and if you open it up, you can see everything that comes included. This includes the two wallpapers for your home screen and your lock screen, comes with your widget locker theme, your two Zoop widget files that I custom made, as well as the little camera icon, just in case you want that as well. So what you wanna do now is to first select, once you have widget locker installed onto your phone, you wanna select the widget locker theme. You wanna now copy it and say, go back, you wanna go, back into your main SD card directory and you wanna look for this folder here titled data. Select that, select the com.teslacoilsw.wid, it's probably just widget locker. Open that up, select the themes folder and then paste it in here. You can of course just select the zip file and then it'll ask you if you wanna open it up in File Explorer or your widget locker. This sometimes works, but for some reason it doesn't always work and I can't explain why. It is a bit buggy, but you can try it like this. It may work out better for you, but I prefer just to copy and paste it into its theme folder. Once that's done, you will just wanna now copy your Zoop widget files. You wanna just select both of them, select copy, and then go back main, go back into your main SD card directory, scroll to the bottom to Zupa widgets, go back into the templates folder, or just go into the templates folder, sorry, and then select paste. And then you'll have two nice looking Zupa widget files in the templates folder. So that is pretty much the two setups that you need for the files to be in their folders. So we can now just go back out of everything as we're now ready to edit our widget locker. Great, so if you have any apps or widgets that are currently on your lock screen, you just want to hold down on them, select or drag them into the bin at the top, or alternatively, you can just hold down on them and select remove whatever is easier for you. But you just want to end up with a completely blank lock screen. Um, doesn't matter what wallpaper you have, but what you do want to do now is to select the little settings icon here at the top right, brings that up, brings it up into your widget locker settings. You obviously want to make sure that your widget locker is on, although obviously it will not work anymore, but next you wanna jump into your look and feel. 
once here you want to make sure that alternative wallpaper is enabled as now you want to go select wallpaper select your gallery or your preferred gallery app and you want to look for that combi where is it here is the combi folder that comes with all the resources well your wallpapers you want to select the combi wallpaper resize it so that it takes the top and the bottom let's get this right so just something similar to that doesn't really matter but select ok and that is set up like that your background since i left off the tints no tint needed you can tint it a bit if you want but for some reason this looked a lot better next up you want to go into your layout if this anchor is sitting in the middle you want to drag it all the way to the bottom and a 12 by 7 grid size seemed to work out pretty well for me you want to now select save there so that your layout completes next up your hide notification bar you want to have that enabled because you don't need that notification bar at the top you can have your own well it's a very minimal screen so you don't need one and you can just now go back that is now your look and feel complete we want to now go into our advanced settings as we want to make sure that our overlap widget setting is enabled here so you can overlap your widgets and then of course you always want to go into your home helper because a lot of the times if you push the menu button it'll then just unlock your phone which is not really a good thing so you just want to enable home helper components it'll then bring up this menu here where you want to select widget locker home helper and then select always it might take you out of the app but you just want to go back into it select your menu button there again go back into the advanced settings home helper again and then of course just enable these two at the bottom here home helper block home and then block home and other apps so that seems to work out really well and that is your widget locker setup complete if you now go back you now have a completely blank lock screen ready to add in your widgets and your slider great so we're now going to be adding in the super widgets they're very easy to add we're going to start off with the date one at the top we're going to hold down on the lock screen select widgets right now and we want to scroll all the way to the very bottom and select super widget pro now i do think a seven by two oh that's a bit big but a seven by two is pretty good I'm gonna hold down on the home screen, select resize, or well, lock screen, my bad, and then make sure that it covers this general area. I'm gonna tap away right now, select that little widget once again, brings up your Zupa widget configuration menu here. You wanna go into your SD card because that's where your template has now been saved. And you wanna look for the one here called Combi5 Date that looks similar to the one that the author created. It doesn't look 100%, but I did my best because some reason his link was broken so pretty much don't have to do anything you can obviously set your hotspots if you want you can do that by going into your layout and then say selecting your text such as the dates or the time and then going into your module on tap and then changing it accordingly but what you do want to change is the main settings here in your widget settings you want to select the widget on tap action and you want this one to be disabled Probably want to make sure that it looks good before doing any of this, but I think this looks pretty good anyway. So what that means is that now when it's disabled, if I go back, as you can see, that looks really good. And of course, tapping around won't do anything. Just prevents me from just doing unnecessary clicks and opening up random configuration menus. So the one at the bottom, now why did I create a super widget just for that very icon? Well, for some reason, that camera icon, I try to change the grid sizes, I try to move it wherever I could, but for some reason I just couldn't get it to make it, I just couldn't get it to be in that little bottom area area with the correct sizing. So maybe I'm doing something wrong, maybe the author knows exactly what I'm doing wrong, but for some reason just using a widget worked out best for me. So I just created a little camera, little widget here, it's basically a bitmap. If I open up my layout, there it is, my bitmap, and it's been the widget on tap action has been changed to open up the camera so you can of course change it accordingly by selecting this and going into your app list and then choosing your preferred camera app so this worked out well for me this is to see what the size looks like so if i go back there it is might want to resize it just a bit great so once you've got that icon where you want it you can always resize it a bit later i'm not going to do anything to it just yet because now i'm going to add in that custom slider Great, so lastly, we just need to add in that very awesome looking custom slider. We want to hold down on the home screen and select custom slider. Now I'll bring up this menu right here. You just want to select the theme right now. Scroll a bit down and look for the flat loader name over here. Just select it like that. And as you can see, there it is. Just select done. It's now been added. It might be hard to see because everything's in black and white. 
but there it is. You want to make sure that you just drag it across slightly so that it doesn't cut into that camera icon and then just lower it down just like that. And as you can see, very good, very easy to do. You can now see that it looks really good. But of course, uh, if your, say your camera icon doesn't work out too well, you just want to tap around here, bring up this editor again, and then just go into your layout, into that bitmap, and then change your X and Y offsets accordingly. But once you have everything the way that you want it, you want to go back into your widget settings, your widget on tap, and then obviously just make this disabled as well. So we can now go back, and then tapping around, nothing will happen, but the camera icon will still work. And then the last thing that you wanna do is to hold down on this camera icon or the camera widget, select send to back so it doesn't get in the way of this unlock slider here, and we can just test it out. So swiping or swiping like that will then unlock your phone to this brilliant looking Android home screen. Now, all you have to do now is to set up this home screen. It's actually really easy to do. If you wanna say change the home scroll, change the wallpaper, you wanna hold down on the home screen. You wanna go into your home screens now. Obviously, every launcher is different, but for Thema, you go into your home screen setting now, select change wallpaper, and then change it, go into your gallery, go into that combi folder, and then just select this one, it's at the bottom there. It's not quite black, it's got this little bit of a uh, felt feel to it, or asphalt, I'm not too sure what texture that is, but it looks really good, it's a bit grainy. I don't know, I really enjoyed it, but you just need to select it, hit apply, make sure they just have one wallpaper, or one page, you can always change the pages over here, but you just need to click apply, and then it'll set it accordingly. Of course, you just want to go into your app drawer here. You want to go into your apps. You can now go into your manage app drawer and then set your icon pack to be that Naxos or yeah, I guess Naxos flat round icon pack, which will then change each one of your icons in your app drawer. And then you just simply have to drag it onto the home screen. If you want to know what grid size it is, a seven by five seems to work out pretty well, depending on what launcher that you're using. And of course, this little app draw icon here, that one is by JP Foldogger or Black Bear Blanc. And don't worry, I'll give you that link at the bottom. To change it, you just simply have to hold down on the icon, select edits, select the icon now, and then choose your gallery, where you can then change it to whatever icon or PNG or image that you would like. So that is a very simple setup to go for. I know it's very minimal, there's no time or battery percentages at all, but he's just going for that pure, um, elegance, minimal feel, it's basically just for that look of the phone. So I really enjoyed it. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Other than that, don't forget to follow us on our various social communities. We're on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, and even Pinterest. And Pinterest, you definitely want to go check in that link because there are some surprises that aren't going to be posted on the other communities. So you go definitely want to go check that out. And of course, last but not least, don't forget to check out Thema, available free from the Google Play Store. It's My Color Screen's one-click theming launcher. You just need to see a theme that you enjoy, hit apply, and within a few seconds, it's applied directly directly onto your phone, no third party apps required. So other than that, Marco here from the My Color Screen channel, and as always, don't stop customizing.